Hi guys, time to have a look at a Sega Dreamcast game, as I'm sure you figured out by the opening screen there, called Toy Commander. Now, um, I'm sure some of you have heard bits about this, or just dismissed it as just uh, any old third party game that's just a bit rubbish, but um, I'm going to say now this is one of the most imaginative and creative games I've, I've ever seen on a console. And uh, I'm going to show you why. <laughs> As you can see, it's a bit Toy Story here at the start with uh, with a young kid flying around. Basically, the entire idea of the game is you are this kid, but you don't see him in game. Uh, he's the one you're telling to control the vehicles. Let's just see here from this cool little intro. Now, I'm going to. It's mission based, you know, it's based throughout the entire house and you, you know, it, it, each room has a number of different things to do which I'm just going to show you a few of now, just to give you an idea what it's about. But there's just so much to it. Basically one big bad toy, is, it's, it's a kid, oh the kid's imagination, big bad toy is taking over the house, you have to defeat all these uh, mini bosses and when you do defeat them, Basically, by completing challenges, they join you. Right, kitchen and dining room, training room. Right, there we go. As you can see, each room has a number of missions set inside. They change as you go along. We'll just show you the training one. Right, this will be the first mini boss. The idea is, I think you, you beat up six of his tests by beating his time, which is one minute forty, and then at the end of the game, he will join you and help you defeat the uh, the final boss. But the, the time limits are so, so hard. Here we go. So I start off, I'm playing today. So, right trigger, makes go. A button fires your machine gun, nice and easy. And the B button fires your missiles. That does have a lock on if there's any being about. Whee! <laughs> oh, see, there's, there's the old... Uh, Family cat. <laughs> I'm sorry, I really, really do love this game. It's just so childish and awesome. <laughs> just land. But as you can see there, you know, I've got uh, different weapons and stuff I can use. Rubber bombs. Mines. This one was nice and easy. The entire point of the... Uh, mission was just to fly over, flip, uh, and round. Yes, yeah, just to fly here and land on the airport. But as I said, I'm only going to show you some of the missions just to give you an idea of what the game is about. Yes, I bought the mission. I want to just show you how, how different it is and how many challenges there are. Infiltration, like this one, Deep Sea Trap. It's just incredible how the the levels change. It's basically the same room, but look, the the kids flooded the kitchen. I mean, God knows what his parents are going to say when they come home to this. <laughs> I think this one's uh, this is another plain one. This is actually quite a diff difficult level because you have to uh, destroy all the submarines in the the ocean. Boom. I mean, you have things like fuel and uh, your life bar at the top left and bar. And buff crash. Right, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> Let's have a look at another one. I understand, I, I, this is a pure 5 out of 5 game for me, there's just so much to it, I absolutely love it to death. Every time I've got a Dreamcast I've always had to pick up a copy of this. There you go, I think you start off with a car on this one. Uh, oh no, hang on. There we go, there's the car. But you see how you can just drive around, around and pretty much do whatever you want. Oof, I've fallen off. 
know, but as you can see, I mean, it's all from the view of this kid crawling around his parents' house. That was more missiles there. Hey, they're after me now. I don't know who's flying the enemy planes, maybe his mates have come round. <laughs> so yeah, anyway, uh, that was another good mission. Let's have a look, uh, look at another room of the house. Obviously, as the more missions you do, the more you complete, it opens up different sections. Like I say, you got coming soon there. Uh, I only got as far as, completed about three or four missions so far in the kitchen. But this did open the children's bedroom. We have a couple here. Uh, like this one, the Grand Prix. You got to finish in the top three. I mean, control wise, it's absolutely spot on. It's, it's controls is exactly how you expected one. Each, each vehicle is uh, quite responsive. Oh, God. <laughs> and the great thing is, it really, really is a challenge. Oh! No, 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 don't do that, you'll lose. You'll lose. Come on, lad, come on. I don't know where I'm going now. I'm completely lost. I've gone the wrong way, haven't I? There we go. Overtake the bus. I think I picked this up on eBay for just uh, a few quid. So if you're umming and ahhing about getting yourself a Dreamcast game, you've got to get this. I've messed up completely now and blown myself well off track. I have no idea where I'm going. I don't think I'm in uh, first anyway, that's for sure. There we go, we've done it. Oy. So yeah, overall, a well recommended game. If you've got a Dreamcast, you pretty much owe it to yourself to pick up a copy of this. It's the most fun you'll ever have on the system, I reckon. Almost out of time. Ooh. Doo -doo -doo. Oh, I'm not doing too bad, I'm not winning, but anyway, that's enough of that. <laughs> I think it's time to have a look at the other mission. This was quite an easy one. Hang on. Very uh, wild west. It's just a matter of driving around town, finding the guys in red, and killing them. <laughs> but as you can see, they, the, the little kid's gone and built a proper town. You know, you've got your car park there, your castle. Your local train. Zoom! <laughs> they don't fire back or anything, it's all. Uh... Oh, an evil engineer. Well guys, sadly we're uh, running out of time, so I'm going to call it a day there. I don't think there's much more I can say about this, except again, it's it's a brilliant, a brilliant game. There's so much to it, and I, I can't recommend it enough. So if you've got a few quid spare and you've got a Dreamcast, you pretty much owe it to yourself to pick up a copy of this. And as always, thanks for watching, and I will uh, do my best to post a video soon.